Enes, Newcastle won. No be surprised to you. Are uh, you they surprised? So Newcastle beat Arsenal. I'm not surprised because um, Arsenal always find it difficult against Newcastle side. And um, Chelsea defeated Newcastle when um, um, Gordon did not play that game uh, um, in the loss against um, Chelsea. Now Gordon is back. When Gordon came back, Chelsea even found it difficult to play against them. And um, Newcastle defeated them 2 0. Nevertheless, Chelsea um, benched or rested so many of their first 11. So that can still be an excuse. But for this game, Arsenal have nobody to blame on a personal perspective. Newcastle were more than them in this particular game. And um, let's not forget that Newcastle came prepared. So for me, Arsenal did not even have any shot on target. With the Only one shot on target. With the exception of what Trosa did, that is called a shot on target. Um, there was no pressure on Pope, no pressure on the defence. And the Newcastle came with a tactics um, to block the two wingers, which is Saka and Martinelli. I expected Martinelli to do more. You understand? I expected um, Martinelli to do more, like to add power livramenting. But it's quite unfortunate that Martinelli found it very difficult in today's game. But kudos to Bruno Gumares and Joel Linton. They were, they were so good in the game. Merino looks like a player we don't really know where to be positioned for Arsenal. Uh, Mika Merino, no. Let's not rule him out yet. Uh, for me, he's the new in the team. Uh, let's not forget he came to the team. I think he did not have a precision with them. So, um, precision is a time of bonding. He did not have a good precision with them. And um, the this, this season started, he was ruled out for like six weeks with a shoulder injury. So, for, so on a personal perspective, uh, let's give Mike Mireno time. Um, he will blend into the team. Because um, football is not all about um, arithmetic, that you just come and say one plus one is two. No. Is Ateta under pressure? For me, Ateta is not under pressure. Um, yeah, for, um, for this season, we can invariably say last two seasons, last season is far better off um, comparing the numbers of games played. So, um, Ateta is not under any pressure. Um, he has really progressed this Arsenal side on a, on a personal point of view. He has progressed this Arsenal side. Arsenal on their own, um, they wouldn't have reached this side with any other coach with them not spending much money. But, uh, but Ateta can still improve. Are you saying they are punching above their weights? Um, for me, Ateta is a good coach, no doubt. But let's give him time. As I keep on telling people, Ateta coached, or he was an assistant coach under Pep Guardiola, but um, he's, I see him tailoring his career towards the Jose Mourinho kind of coach than towards the Pep Guardiola kind of coach. So he's tailoring his career towards the Jose Mourinho kind of coach that he will always play tough when he gets to the um, top six teams and um, he will be sub to when he comes to other teams. So for me, Ateta is tailoring his career towards the Jose Mourinho kind of coach. I think it's since 2023, um, he has not lost um, um, any top games against any top six sides. So um, Ateta is finding it difficult to beat the smaller teams, which as well he forgets that he's still the same three points. Are they still in the title mix? Um, you, only, you only need to lose one or two matches um, for them to be back. You understand? Other teams need to lose one or two matches Chelsea is next. to be back. Um, Chelsea is next. It is, let's not still forget, it's a London debut. So um, I mean, Chelsea is a no-no for me when it comes to them playing against Arsenal. And by then, most of their players will be back. Odegaard will be back and they, and they likes. So um, it will be a tough game. So um, Liverpool, that is even this in second. Liverpool, they are performing very well. But Liverpool does not have the squad depth to compete for this title. Man, you are on the corner with Chelsea tomorrow. Have a higher confidence level. They suppose your confidence level suppose they high. As Aelia said, Manchester United players are always players that will always throw you under the bus. So I'm not um, I'm not somebody that that is an emotional person. Um, it is an open game. Man United can win the game, and um, they can as well draw. So in every caretaker coach. Man United have never lost against Chelsea under any caretaker coach. So I am hopeful and I believe that by tomorrow, Man United will make us smile.